In this video, I want to talk about my recent experience with aftermarket cell phone screens, and I also want to share some tips when buying an aftermarket phone screen. I currently use a Pixel 3a XL that I bought with screen burn at a discounted price. Screen burn means the colors are off, the whites are all pink and rosy, and the only way to fix this is to replace the screen. So I bought an aftermarket replacement screen on eBay and installed it myself. The screen worked great, until it didn't. After 4 months of using the phone, the screen completely died. The screen was black, but I could feel the phone vibrate when I touched the fingerprint sensor on the back, and my computer recognized my phone when I connected to it. I also accidentally made an emergency call. Take note, if you are on Android 12, there's the feature that will make a 911 call if you press the power button 5 times consecutively. So with all these signs, I knew it wasn't an issue with the phone, it was the screen that was dead. So I ordered a replacement screen and selected a different seller this time. I installed the screen myself and it was working good until it wasn't. The next day I noticed some pixels were turning blue and then purple and then black. And it started getting worse and worse and worse by the hour until all I could see was several dark blue pixels on my screen. I messaged the seller to send me a replacement. He accused me of damaging the screen on installation. He said, keep the screen and offered me a 50% refund. The screen had no physical damage though. I sent more pictures and I explained that the pixels are dying out. I want either a new screen or a full refund. And he countered with, I'll give you 70% reimbursement. In the meantime, I was using a Pixel 3 XL with a damaged screen that I bought to repair. I was pissed and I needed a working phone, so I agreed. So I ordered another screen from a different seller. Looking at all these three screens, it appears as if they came from the same manufacturer. This third screen has been holding up okay since late December 2021. There's nothing like the original screen on a smartphone. With an aftermarket screen, you are taking a risk of it failing or not performing like the original screen. So here are my tips. When buying a screen on eBay, make sure to look at the return and warranty policies of the seller. You want to see if there is a warranty period and for how long. If there is no warranty, then look at the return policy, right? You want to know if the return policy includes returning a defective screen or does the screen need to be in resale condition. If they do refunds, is it a full refund or a partial refund? When you see OEM, don't trust that unless it specifically says in the description that it was removed from another working phone. When you see US, don't trust it. The majority of screens are from China or other Asian countries. Take a look at the seller's reviews, more specifically, the negative reviews. See if the seller responds, and what they say, and what solutions are offered. This seller sends a replacement screen, which sounds fair. This seller does refunds, but it's only partial refunds. This seller doesn't respond at all to the negative reviews. So you're also going to want to record yourself opening the package in case the screen is broken, because they'll try to blame you for it. Record yourself testing the screen by plugging it in first without any glue or tape. Then record yourself installing the screen. Contact the seller for a resolution before you leave a negative review. If you have tips on buying aftermarket screens online, please leave them in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.